Who are you and tell us about your role in Canvas? Hey, my name is Jenny and I am the chairperson of Canvas. Uh, my name is Chuck Ernest. The HRD for fundraising and uh, my responsibility is to raise money for the event. My name is Nathaniel aka Nandini because everyone will choose my name anyways. But I'm the secretary of Canvas and I do the boring people work. Uh, basically, I'm Vishnu, I think. Uh, I'm one of the four directors of Canvas. I'm YY and I'm a treasurer, I think. So, you act in some of the plays as well, right? Yes. Yeah, tell us about your roles. I am a florist, a barista, and also a talk show host. What made you think that we need to have a standalone drama event that revolves around love in Utah? One is drama club, to now so why do you think the event is named Canvas? To portray that life is not just one thing, it's more than just one thing, it's a combination of colors, combination of love. So what is Canvas all about to you personally? Uh, Canvas to me is a first and foremost a DPS project but also a showcase of you know love <laughs> because you know we wanted to put something on stage probably like you know something about humanity love uh -huh. hey. event wise I think Canvas is something is, I think it's unique in sense uh, because especially in Utah because things one of a kind event of like stage play that I've never done before so it's kind of untested waters so it's its own benchmark as of now so it's it's, bit, it's interesting to see what it unfolds into basically in the event which play is your personal favourite? you can't ask me that's like my children I love Fuck all you. my children Fuck. play 3 I guess because that's the play I'm most familiar with play 4 I think play 2 now, tell me why why you like it what is because it's a wholesome story about a normal family doing normal stuff. <laughs> Chemistry between the characters or? I'm, I'm pretty sure you casted the right people for all the roles up. Why thank you. Because Play 2, I've never done anything like that long, I would feel. Kind of interesting. And the story behind the making of it is a bit weird. It's a bit cool. So yeah, it's like Play 2 is a bit special, I feel. So, what do you hope to achieve with Canvas? Okay, what I hope to achieve is for the message to get across because you see, Canvas, our goal when we planned it was to show people the love that people always neglect. That's everyone, based on what is marketed, love is always about, you know, um, relationships, dating, weddings, this and that. No one speaks of those unconditional love that, that's around the world. The world love that you don't need to express, I mean you don't have to say it out. Mm. So that's what I, I want Canvas to achieve, to, the message I want Canvas to give up. So what were the struggles you experienced during the preparation for Canvas and what have you done to like overcome it? Struggles in Canvas mm. a lot. Like for example is the play coordination, casting sorry, which was a bit surprisingly when we were very pessimistic on a lot of things and then finance and this and that. So all these struggles, what we try to do, what I try to personally do is like pull a lot of strings, make a lot of calls, try to do my best to be present in certain plannings and certain executions so that I'm able to be, uh, I'm able to contribute in any way in order to make our dream a reality. As you know, I'm the HOD for fundraising, so raising money is not an easy task. Um, the hardest part is probably trying to get sponsorship and uh, vendors because that is the easiest way to uh, and the fastest way to get money and but however contacting them is and getting their approval is really not easy. Why do you think 
Okay, the theme love resonates the best with the audience. Why not? Why not food? Why not travel? Well, I believe that love is something that is fundamentally human. Well, our audience are obviously human, so hence love will definitely be something that they can feel. Because love is something we all experience in some form or another, or something that we want to experience in our daily life, and many people don't get that. So that's why love is universal. It's not not my language. People, whoever you are, you have loved or want love in some form. That's why it's very easily relatable. Okay, yeah. that's it. Thank you. Yeah.